Ray, this looks like it's part of the snake crawling on that poor young lady's bottom. <laughs> yeah, that fits. You got a good eye for this. I think we're a good team. We're like Kareem and Magic Johnson. <laughs> Kareem and Magic, you know basketball? Only what I've learned from your column. Really? You mean my column? Oh, yes, ever since we became family. They have news day in the library. <laughs> you go to the library to read my column? It's only a 20-minute drive. <laughs> You're very good. Thanks. You know, I'm thinking of writing a book. You are? Yeah. Yeah, I tried writing books before, but I, I never finished them. Same as reading them, you know? <laughs> but, um, this one I'm working on, it's about Mickey Mantle and his relationship with Billy Martin and Whitey Ford. Do you know those guys? I've heard of Mickey. I don't know Billy or Whitey. <laughs> well, they were these great players, and they all hung out together. And I don't know. I don't know. It's probably stupid. I don't think it's stupid at all. What does Deborah think? She must be very excited. Uh, I haven't even told Deborah. No? No, she doesn't even read my column. Oh, she must. Yeah, not so much anymore. You know, she used to when we were dating and she was all wooing me. <laughs> well, now she's probably busy taking care of the house and the children and you. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> You know what it could be? Maybe she doesn't read your column so much anymore because she's feeling a little jealous. Jealous? Well, I wouldn't blame her. You have such an exciting life, Ray. You meet a lot of interesting people and you go to so many exotic places. You mean like Tampa? <laughs> You've been to Tampa? <laughs> Couple times. Well, there you go. You know, sometimes I feel a little jealous of Hank's work. He's a high school principal. <laughs> Vice principal. But you'd think he was the principal the way he always comes home with such interesting stories. And I just want to say, my gosh, what I would give to be a fly on the wall of that teacher's lounge. <laughs> Excuse my language. That's OK. I like how you talk. I got to tell you, you're a very perceptive person. And you like sports. Maybe you should talk to my mom. <laughs> Well, I'm sure she loves your writing. Oh, she's another one. <laughs> she still hasn't got over the fact that I didn't become a poet or an opera writer or her biographer. <laughs> well, your mother's a strong personality, but she has a good heart. I think in many ways, she's still just a little girl who's looking for acceptance and love. I never thought of her like that. I've always just thought of her as mom. <laughs> well, I'm a mom, Tammy and Peter. No, I don't think so. You can't even do this. You're, you're too nice. Well, thanks, Ray. I think you're nice, too. All right. <laughs> anyway, this section's all done. Should we keep going? Oh, I don't know. Well, why not? Yeah, why not? Yeah. So, what do you think of my dad? I think we should finish the puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> 